So I'll go and give you a quick breakdown on exactly how to use AirDrop. It's a very cool thing that allows us to go ahead and share files, photos, videos from one iOS device to another, iPadOS, macOS, whatever you want to do with it. And it's actually very cool. The first thing you want to do is you want to get into your control center of your device. Now you will need to have Bluetooth and Wi-Fi enabled on your phone in order to do this. You don't have to have an Apple account. So if you were just bought an iPhone, you want to transfer some stuff. I do it all the time. So what you can do is hold down on your control center or your control center of your iPad or Mac OS. And you want to find your little airdrop option. So here you want to go ahead and click on it just like this. And you want to make sure receiving is either on contacts only or everyone. You want to do that if you're receiving files. I think you need us, you know, have these two options enabled if you also want to send files. So keep that in mind. So as long as you have those things set up and you see that little blue icon there, then you're pretty much good to go. The next thing you want to do as a test, you want to go ahead and just send a file. So in this case, we'll make our way over to our photos application. We'll go and click on a photo and we'll just go ahead and send this photo as an example to another device. Now I have another iPhone. This is an iPhone 11 right here and I'm doing the exact same thing. So I'm scrolling down from the top, I'm holding down here. And as long as I have AirDrop set to either everyone or contacts only, if you're sending this, you know, files or photos to somebody in your contacts, like your mom, dad, son, whatever, then you can go ahead and just leave this as contacts only. But typically I keep it on everyone just because. So in this case, I can go and set my phone right here. And all you have to do here to use it, you want to go and click on the share icon. So most files out there should have some sort of share, share icon you can go and send. So you can click on the share icon and right there you have a little airdrop option. So instead of sending it through any of the other things, you can go and click on airdrop and this device, as long as it's powered on and that airdrop receiving thing is on, you should be able to see it. Now watch what happens. If I go and you know, power down my phone, you can see that person's device will go and go off. So you have to make sure the phone is on and at least is turned on and unlocked in order to send a file to it. So at this point, you can just click on the person's name right there and you should see the file being received on the other person's phone. Now, sometimes if it's a brand new person or someone not in your contacts, you may have to click accept. So keep that in mind. And now that photo or the file will go into their photos or files application. And that is really it. It's really that basic. Now, let's say we want to send a file. So if we make our way over to our files application, wherever it is, in this case, it is right so for us, it's right here. All we have to do is go and hold down on the file just like this. And you can see we'll come into this panel. And now we can also go and click on the share icon right there. And the same exact thing will come up. So just like how we had it before with AirDrop, as soon as you see this little AirDrop option, just click on it. And you will now be able to do the exact same thing as before. Click on the person's icon, their you know phone, whatever it is. And you should now be able to see that. And sometimes if it's like a file like this, you can now receive something on their side where it may be like this. And you just want to go and figure out an application that you want to go ahead and open it up with. Most of the time, you can, I would say 99% of the time, you can just open it up within the files application and you should be good to go. So go and click on files and the same as I think will happen. You can go and click save and that's basically it. You know, you can now transfer files back and forth from any device to the other one. It's a very basic process. Once you use it a few times, you pretty much know how to use it. So that's pretty much it. If you have any other questions, concerns, comments, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.